going to introduce you to another tool which is hiding underneath the pencil and it is this one here it is a smoothing tool and if you just draw over the shape that you want to smooth out it makes it less lumpy takes some of the points out of it kind of smooths it out continue to draw I don't always draw through shapes because as you can see it is a colossal pain to uh, have to worry about where, where everything goes thicker where the curve is just looks better that way I'm going to go to a fine brush to do the inside of the sleeve I like to use the line tool for his arm now I'm going to copy that paste it and drag this over with the V tool drag this over so it's perfectly parallel because I copied and pasted it but since it's on the far side of him where a shadow might be I'm just going to make it a little bit thicker I think I'll use the pen tool here to make a dot and then a dot and then a dot and then a dot see that little dot there I'm going to complete that and then fill it with black and over here kind of finish the line off I think I can still use this tool to manipulate some of these lines I'm going to go back to the line tool and continue using that if I want to give them a little curve I just use this tool and just give them the slightest curve and then hit V and select both of those lines hit command C hit command V bring these lines over to the other leg move them over a bit till they kind of match zoom way in and hit B for brush and do a little bit of connecting there so I'm just panning across continuing to use this tool to connect these lines I think overall the holes look like they are too thin so I'm going to hit shift and select I'm just going to go ahead and select each one of these holes. And now I'm going to go to the stroke tool and hit 1.5 and then hit enter just to make them a little bit bigger. Start in on the shoe, hit the brush, start wherever I feel comfortable. The outside of the forms are usually thicker than the inside of the forms, so. I'm going to use a thinner brush to draw the interior forms. I'm going to break this one up into two strokes and go back to the fine brush for the interior details. And go back to the medium for the bubble texture. Alright, at this point you may be wondering whether all this is worth the trouble. This type of cleanup for me is something I just simply cannot do with a uh, normal pen and ink. Uh, it's very stressful on my hands and wrists and uh, as long as this takes it's still quite worth it to me to do it this way. Again, I can touch up some of those lines in Photoshop. I'm going to do that bubble on another layer. So I'm going to add a layer, call it SB Bubble. And I'm going to lock those off and then I'm going to use this tool but I am going to modify it quite a bit and make the stroke on that three points, four points, hit V so I can squish it down just a little bit. And what I'm looking for here is to make sure I don't have any really bad tangents. And I just want to make this a little bit thicker to show some stress. So I will take B, I'll take a bold brush, and then we'll just start drawing over it. Again, that will give this line some humanity. It won't feel like it's drawn by a uh, computer. This one I'm going to have to use the brush for because I can just see I'm going to have problems completing that. I can clean up that 
in Photoshop later on. I'm going to select this and I'm going to make it thicker. Bring it in a little bit. I'm going to go 1.3 just to bolden it up a little bit. And now we are done with SpongeBob. I'm going to create a new layer called Patrick.